And I'm live. Yeah, there goes the timer. And I'm not late, so. I don't even know if people watch these on the replay, but I will wait for people to show up per usual. I did put something on my Instagram because I know sometimes I don't go live. But I got my receipt here. It's a little raggedy on the side. I ripped it. They like stapled it to my bag. Um, I got a lot of items. I got a lot of caddy pants. Um, why is my chat like... It's like not... Okay. I guess I have to pop it out. Ugh. Why is my chat like that? I can't see it. So, hi to the two people that are here. Oh, I'll have to pop out my chat so I can like, communicate with y'all. It's so weird. Um. Okay, we're going on two minutes. When it hits around two minutes, I'll start. You know. I don't know if YouTube's on a notification per usual. How's your day been? Single person who's here. Uh, I guess I can open this bag though. I did get a lot of items. I don't want to like show all the like better stuff that I got at once. These are some of the dresses that I got. I got this cute cat print. It's so cute. It's like a dress. Yeah, I'll start with um hi Lindsay. I'll start with pants. I got a decent amount of items. <laughs> Hi, Jojo. <laughs> Did YouTube send out a notification? I low key got a lot of skirts. Uh, thank you, Lindsay. Hi, Debbie. Yay. Okay, I'm happy it sent you guys a notification. Uh, yeah, I low key did get a lot of skirts. Um. Ooh. That's how the game goes, playing with me. I got a lot of cabby pants, so that's like the most exciting thing. Um, how has your guys' day been though? I would love to know. I got my two empty bins over here. So drop these items in. How's your day? And then how have your sales been so far for June? I just did my Poshmark and eBay sales. Or no, Poshmark and Mercari sales for the month so far. And I'm at 347, which I'm actually really happy with. Um and I know I've made some sales on eBay, a decent amount of sales, so it should be over 500, which is good. It's like a third of the way to last month. I haven't listed anything yet today. Hi, Tori. I'm happy you got to make it today. I was literally wondering if people ever even watched the replays. Because I know it's just, it's different, you know? Oh, Jojo, you had your first return request. What was their claim? Let me hear it. I have a decent pile right here already. Um, but yeah, how has your guys' June been and your day? My sales have been good. My day has been... It's been kind of blah. Um, oh, Andrea. Hopefully they fill them soon. That sucks. I'm so sorry. 
It says last Tuesday. Yeah, that's a long time. They need to refill them. Very loud cars. Fit the extra small size. Fit the fit fit the egg. I'm assuming fit comma maybe. The extra small size on the skirt was too small. I was like eBay. What do they mean it was too small? How was it too small? Like, was it supposed to be a junior's and you listed it as women's, maybe? Um, that's weird, though. <sighs> Me and you both, Sunset. <laughs> I listed I listed 56 items last week. I would like to list at least 70. That's like 10 a day, but I didn't. I will try to do better this week. Um, I got all my Amazon FBA verification stuff out the way. And uh, I have like four items I bought this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to send them in or do like merchant fulfilled. But that's fun and nice and new and exciting. Um, new. So I'm like, I can't sell too many things, you know, Amazon like gates you when you first start off. Um, but yeah, that's how my weekend went. And then sourcing Sunday. I have like a cat hair on my eyelash. <sighs> yeah that's what I figured um they were for I know that um sometimes you'd be having health issues so I figured it had something to do with that yeah if I can do five to ten per day I feel like that's good enough honestly that on top of cross listing and shipping um, oh, well, like, what if I don't have a bigger size? Like, you bought an extra small. Uh, okay, I'm gonna start my haul. I have the receipt somewhere. I misplaced it that quickly. It's on the ground. I spent $93.94. I just put it in my books. $93.94 and I got 76 items. So that's really good. 93 divided by 76. Like $1.20 an item, uh, which is really good. And yeah, these are the items I got. So I will be listing them on Poshmark first and then I would say a month to two months later to two months later they get cross-listed to Mercari and eBay, honestly, because I'm just behind. Um, and I list items way quicker on Poshmark. And then I'm like, if it sells on Poshmark, it saves me the time of not having to cross-list it and delete it, you know. Oh my goodness, I've not heard of Prime Lister, but I have Pasherva. <laughs> Pasherva. And I love it. How are you liking Prime Lister, though? I love Posher VA. I think I have a promo code somewhere. I don't know. If you're, like, really interested, let me know. Um, This is the first item. I only got one belt. Posher VA, they have a trial, and then it's $25 a month, which is very much so worth it. Um, It sends out offers and everything. This is a genuine fossil leather belt, size small, and it has like this colorful, I don't really know what to call this, multicolor patchwork like belt. Um, a little dated in style, but um, trends always come back and somebody will want it regardless if I think it's dated or not because it's fossil. I didn't know if that was like a pen mark or it has like some like snakeskin textured um things it's not pen though these are ann taylor size small black and gray houndstooth knit little like legging pants with this zipper detail i thought these were cute these are blank nyc size 28 they're a green, almost like jogger pant. 
with the zipper details. And Blank NYC, their retail can get up there in price. I sold a pair of their shorts for like 15 bucks on Poshmark last week. I only paid 80 cents for them. Only paid 80 cents for those pants. But, I mean, still, for somebody to pay $15 plus $7.50 shipping for you shorts, I think is decent. And Taylor size 10. Cute little floral pencil skirt. I low-key need to put all of these in a bundle. Because I have a lot of Ann Taylor pencil skirts right now. Talbot's for petite black and white pencil skirt. It has this cute little belt detail though. Talbot size 8. I love this skirt. I think it's just like really cute and fun. Green and yellow floral print skirt. I think it's so cute. And it has these big buttons on it. Y'all know me. I wear everything high-waisted with a crop top. I would wear this high-waisted with a white crop top. And some cute little... I have yellow smiley face earrings. And my black platform sandals. That'd be my little pop of color. These are good luck gem. I don't know about them, uh, but they're sold at Nordstrom Rack. I was trying to get like a couple of items to put on flip. I have two lots that are in review because both of them had one item that they don't accept on their brand list. But I was trying to get together, you know, just try to pick up some items. I still have items from last week. Uh, my best friend gave me two bags of stuff. Like, I have hella of her shoes. Hella Nikes. These are black Harachis. Probably, like, ten pairs of shoes. A bunch of Victoria's Secret pink. Some polo. And then my best friend, our mutual friend, gave her some clothes at work to give to me. So, I'm like, I could afford to put, you know, five, ten item lots on flip of, like, Calvin Klein, Vince Camuto, um, things like this, this Nordstrom Rack brand if they take it. But they're new with tags, size medium, and they're like a black, loose gaucho pant. You know, real yoga, real comfy. This is a Zara basic. I'm pretty sure Flip takes Zara. You know, so like a little Zara basic skirt. And this is a black knit skater skirt avenue i was surprised to find that lane that um flip takes lane bryant i was like out of all brands because you know some people think of lane bryant as like a lower brand but their retail is up there but they do take lane bryant these are avenue denim a nice black stretchy jean a size 14 great size Hi, Jen. Yeah, blank NYC jacket for 40. Good money. The brand definitely, you know, you can make some money on it. I just started on flip. Their brand list makes no sense. Like, no White House, Black Market, or Love, but you can list Hollis or Right. I've had, though, um, in one of my lots, I've gotten White House, Black Market, so I would try them just in case. And it's, I'm trying to think, I feel like she sent me some new attack J. Crew pants. And I mean, depending on like what list you see, J. Crew might or might not be on it. Same with Banana Republic. But yeah, they take like Hollister, American Eagle, um, brands I find all the items. I probably have like five American Eagle skinny jeans that are just sitting. I could easily take those and put them up there and just, you know, free up space in my inventory. I was going to go through maybe at the end of the summer, probably in August, and go through and see like what I still have listed from February, March, April, May, and start putting together flip lots. Uh, these are Calvin Klein because you'd be surprised. You know, you can have something listed and it doesn't sell for three months and then you send it to somebody and they sell it immediately. Like you never, you just never know. So, these are Calvin Klein size 14 brown stretchy pants. Like, these could go on flip. I'm pretty sure they take Calvin Klein. 
If they take Vince Camuto, they should take Calvin Klein. Uh, what do I think of Trade Z? I've used Trade Z a couple of times. Yeah, only for higher end items. They take forever to pay you out. Um, I prefer like eBay and Poshmark definitely, but they do have a different clientele because they're higher end items. Uh, these are White House Black Market size eight. I don't know why I grabbed these. Probably for yeah, I probably grabbed these for flip. I mean, I know I need medium pants, but I don't need them that bad, <laughs> you know? But it's like, when you need inventory, you need inventory. Regardless, you know, if you sell them for 20 and y'all split it 50-50, still making six bucks off of nothing, off of zero. And I've made, I think I added it up the other day, like 70 bucks from Flip so far. Which, I mean, is good money. It's free inventory. You really can't beat that. Uh, even if you get, like, a bad box, like, list it. If it doesn't sell, send it back. No harm. White House Black Market, size 8. This is an older tag. But these are just, like, some white and black, like, print pants. Um, yeah, I'm going to put them in a flip lot. Maybe I should, yeah, I'll hang whatever I want to put on flip, like, on the side. The those avenue pants, the Zara skirt, she's nothing to write home about. Um, these are some really cute loft mauve cropped pants. I sold another pair of Banana Republic Sloan mauve cropped pants over the weekend. They took them a month to sell, and then the other pair that I sold sold the same day on eBay. Um, that I listed them. These are size four. So this is like, it's a good color. Moth. And I mean, Banana Republic Sloan's, that's a good, you know, like 10 to $22 any day. They don't take, um, Loft. I don't know if they take Tahari. But these are some nice Tahari knit, like, legging pants. And they're an extra large. Or no, they're just a large. I've never been to any buy, sell, trade facilities. Oh, wait, no. Yes, I have. What am I talking about? Um, I don't know why I heard buy, sell, trade. and was thinking of an auction. I only go when they have clearance sales. Like, I go to Clothes Manor and Plato's Closet when they do, like, 90% off clearance. Because usually if they put a clearance tag on something, it's half off. So it's, like, 90% off of 20 bucks. Two dollars, like that's a deal. Um, and I spent, I went to, let me see, I went to Clothes Manor March thirteenth and spent like hundred and fifty bucks and got eighty items. That's a good haul, even if I was to spend that, um, at the thrift store I go to. But I've been made my money back from that, like been made it back. Um, I found some good stuff there. Like, I, for some reason, they don't buy vintage items, but it was probably, like, a new girl. Um, they had bought, like, a vintage, what brand was that? I think it was, like, Donna Rico floral, like, empire waist, 100% silk, uh, dress. And, uh, I sold it for, like, 50 bucks. Um, and it sold pretty quick. It's, like, that already was, like, a third of my money. Oh, thank you, Jen. I never, like, sometimes, you know, sometimes I look at um the names, but, like, I'm very quick with shipping. If you guys ever buy from me, like, send me a message or, you know, I'll give you the hookup. You feel me? And I feel like I do pretty good bundle discounts. I try to. Uh, These are beta brand, extra small. I was really surprised to see these for $6. I got them for $0.80, cents, though. Orange was... Orange was a dollar. Y'all know I use my little college student discount, even though I've had my degree for four years. Um, but this was a dollar. Beta brand, they usually price at 15. I usually have to wait for like a month until they mark it down. But these are some brown and black extra small petite beta brand pants. So you already know they're that like spandex. Um, Stretchy knit. 
I've never had free people comment on any of my listings. Oh my goodness. It's weird. They might, maybe they've updated their stuff. The girl, the girl stuff I do have, I've had it for three months. And there's the BCBG dress in her lot. It hasn't sold. Um, but maybe they, yeah, maybe they don't take BCBG anymore. They're getting a little particular. This is Ann Taylor Petite, newer tag, uh, size 8, 8 Petite, floral print, pencil skirt. Another Ann Taylor pencil skirt, size 0, extra small, navy blue floral print. Hi, Jolie. It's good to see you, too. Hello to everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me, um, as always. And I hope you all have been having a good Monday and had a good weekend. I feel like my weekend was long, was very long. Uh, th these are Highline Collective. I don't know anything about them, but these were just some nice pants. I like this detail at the bottom and the distressing. They were 80 cents. So I figured why not? This is like a quilted jacket. This floral print with the little like button hook tab, whatever, closures, collarless. I know these are like um like trendy right now. Well like these in um actual like quilted jackets. <sighs> I'm sweating. It's getting hot in here. <sighs> okay. Oh, I got this Rails top. I paid was blue half off? I don't think so. Maybe it was. Let me see if blue was half off. Because I don't want to give y'all the wrong information and have y'all thinking. Yeah, blue was half off. So I paid four bucks for this. New with tags. That for rails is a steal. I would have paid eight dollars for it had blue not been the half off color. But it's a little tie front, button down top with a collar, uh, cropped. Size extra small. If I had to pay eight dollars for this though, I would have looked it up in store. I didn't look that up. But the first Rails item I had a little while ago was a Rails dress. And let me look that up in my sales. Um, and that only took, I paid $9.60 for it. And it took 13 days to sell. sell. And I ended up making a $39 profit on Poshmark off that. So Rails has a really good track record with me. That's the only, um, thank you, Sorenzo. Uh, that's the only Rails item I've ever found and sold. So I'm willing to pay up for it. It has a good track record with me. This is 860, just a little lace dress, sleeveless, yellow, basic. Jojo, look, I'm definitely probably going to get into bed after this. I have like one Amazon video I need to finish though. And I don't feel like listing, so maybe I'll just get some more cross listings done. Uh, this is Cooperative, which is like Urban Outfitters, size medium, and it is a plaid button front, halter neck, little mini dress. This button's all the way up and then ties, or it doesn't tie around the neck, there's a whole collar. Low back, no back. Cute little pink plaid dress. Oh, see, I haven't even shipped out my first uh, flip box yet. Andrea, so what pound limit? Oh, thank you, JoJo. Yes, hit the thumbs up uh, button. I really would appreciate that. This is Cynthia Rowley, new with tags, TJ Maxx, 30 bucks. Um, size six. Little floral ruffle neck, sleeveless shift dress. Mini length. 
was surprised to see this. <clears throat> surprised to see this only at 12. Uh, Banana Republic size 6 blue and green plaid, like thicker sheath dress. Ooh, 17 pounds. Yeah, I don't think any of my boxes are going to be that heavy. I have like two little five pound lots listed. This is a uh, loft. My nose itches. This is loft. Probably the cutest item I got. I think it's a mini dress. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has a zipper. Yeah, it has a zipper like all the way down the back. A uh, small petite. And look, it has cats on it. Pink cats shift dress. I think it's so cute. I love this. I wish it was my size. I'd keep it. This is Line and Dot. I don't I don't know that brand, Line and Dot, but this I'm pretty sure this was 100% silk sleeveless dress. Cuz I remember checking the fabric contents and then being like the dress is cute enough for me to pay 80 cents for it and make a profit. Like I didn't have to check the fabric. Oh, limit is 12. That's still a lot, but you said it was shoes. Shoes are heavy. This is a Venus dress I did pay up for because it's so cute, and I feel like I could list it for at least 50. Um, Venus, size 12. And it's this, like, floral lace midi dress. If I could figure out what the hay was going on with it. Okay. So, little spaghetti straps, floral lace detail, um, there goes the sleeve, and then this is the bottom, and then this, and I just thought this was so cute, uh, I paid four bucks, and I think that's a good deal for a dress this cute. Oh, Line and Dot is Nordstrom. Thank you. So that was a good deal. I'm not mad at that. This is Apartment 9. Extra large. This reminds me of a little row dress. It does have a little ruffle hem, though. But it definitely looks like a little row Amelia. Has the zipper down the back. And it's a really cute dress. It has uh, birds on it. It's kind of like heavier though. You know those Amelia's are pretty heavy. So I don't know if that's really like a summer. It's like really colorful like summer, but girl, it's hot. I'm not in this damn room. Let me um lift y'all up some more. I honestly don't, Vince Camuto, I think they sell her at Macy's. I think. So I can like show y'all the items. This is Karen Kane. I looked up Karen Kane the one week we was on here. I ended up getting this for 80 cents. They originally wanted 30 bucks. And a white tag means no discount. No half off, nothing. Then it got marked down to 20. <laughs> and then it got marked down to 8. And I got it for 80 cents. This is Karen Kane extra large. Uh, and I'm pretty sure her dresses. Uh, this is the item she left a sensor on. I beeped on my way out and I was like, I do not have time for you to go back through my bag. Don't have time for it. I got 76 items. We're not doing that. I was like, I'll just come back. But I bought a giant magnet. I haven't uh, used yet to get these sensors off. Maybe maybe we'll do that at the end of this video. Uh, but this is the extra large Karen Kane knit. Like sheath dress yes yeah, a sheath dress knit sheath dress yeah let me know if y'all think I should open up my magnet finally I have like a a pile of items that are censored still that they forgot this is guess size seven ugh if y'all don't know, odd numbers is always junior sizing, so this must be a throwback. Uh, 
But guess size seven, I'm just going to measure it and see if it's like a small or a medium. And go from there. Little blue dress. Thought it was cute. I don't know if Flip takes guess. But if they do, they can have that. This is L, size medium. A little basic summer dress. You know, a little $22 holla. Y'all, I'm tired. This is Simple by Suzanne Betro. New with tags. Blue and white basic top. More of a tunic. This is Loft, size 12. Short sleeve, like heart print dress. And it has this pleated bottom. Found some uh, AG, some Adriana Goldschmidt's for 80 cents. Always a deal. Uh, these are this, <clears throat> this cigarette leg. So it's 25. Every once in a while, I'll find like a designer item for 80 cents. I found, uh, if you guys remember, that Tory Burch purple silk top for 80 cents. And I just sold that over the weekend. How much did I make on that? I listed it May 8th, and it sold June 1st, so it took 24 days to sell, and I made 35.20 profit, and that is just, like, beautiful. To take 80 cents and turn it into that every once in a while, but even then, oh, she's faded in the back. That is just getting noted. Uh, somebody still pay for these for 80 cents. I mean, minimum I'm going to get is 18. You feel me? Uh, ooh, I'm about ready to turn this fan on. This is Vince Camuto, size 8. Like, this is something that can go to flip. I have so many. I don't know if this is a dresser top, actually. Before I speak out of turn. It's a dress. Oh, shit. Some stuff to sell. And it's so small. Uh, that bin's kind of full. I don't know if this will go to flip. Blue, long sleeve, button cuff, shift dress. Also, if you guys, like, don't know what flip is, because me saying it's going to flip, like, it's not tradesy. You don't, like, send them stuff in and they list it or anything. Um, it's just an app, like, and if you're a reseller and need inventory, there are resellers uh, liquidating inventory, such as me. You know, I'm going to get my little five, ten item lots uh, up. But there are resellers on their liquidating inventory. There are people selling their own clothes. And you can pretty much, you know, um, not bid on items, but you put in what you think you could sell the item for an estimate and then flip matches you with a person. Uh, they match the person with the best seller pretty much. So sometimes if you're new, you might want to apply to lots that don't have as many applications because then you have a better chance of getting them. But you get free inventory. I mean, you split it with them, whether it's 50-50, 60-40, 70-30, you know, if they're giving you like all American Eagle or something like that. But you can make some money that way. Uh, these are Eileen Fisher, size large, a silk black pant. I wish these were my size. I'd keep them. Paid four bucks for them. This is Aqua, size small. Red plaid, sweetheart, cute little, like, picnic dress. I have one bin of pants left. And that is it for me. Ooh. Okay, let's go through these pants. These are Ann Taylor size 8. 
a brown pants with the black contrast. Straight leg. Talbot size 8 petite. These are a really nice pant. They're like more like a medium weight. And they're a nice gray straight leg. But they're just, they're nice. If you guys could feel them, you can tell when a pant was expensive. These are divided by H&M. New with tags. Size 10. Black and white houndstooth plaid pants <sighs> yeah I mean sometimes you know I've told people I don't think I've sold anything for under an estimate yet but sometimes you really think you could just get more for an item than you can and that's just not the case <sighs> These are Denim & Co. They're a large petite. I think I'm going to try these on. They have an elastic waist. Um, an extra large petite would have been cutting it. So this large petite might be cutting it even closer. But they're just like a nice like faded black pant. And I need more pants. So I'll see if those fit me. Probably won't. Uh, these are Talbot size 6. The Flawless Five Pocket light pink pants with the button bottoms. Banana Sloan, Banana Public Sloan, size 14. I think I have a pair of these already listed, this like red orange color. So I might just add this to that listing. Have a multi quantity listing and I don't gotta retake photos. I can just take another photo of the tag. J. Crew Cafe Capri size 14. I sold a pair of Cafe Capris over the weekend, but I've had them listed since February. Um, I think these will do better because they're all black. Those were like a nautical chain print. These are Zach and Rachel, size extra large. I thought I showed you guys these already. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. No, I showed you guys a pair of pants. I said they were extra large because I thought they were these, but they were just larges. Um, but they're just like a legging with the textured knee. I've sold a couple of VS Pink. Um, like zip up jackets for 25 bucks, the little like lightweight hooded tops for like 18. I have a sports bra listed. These are some guest wax jeans. I didn't see guests on the list of brands that they don't accept. Um, for flip, so I was gonna try those there. These are new with tags, Kiss and Cry, extra large, linen, rayon, blend, pants, black. Um, I'm going to try these on because they'll probably fit me, and I love linen pants. Where I'm high-waisted, with a crop top. These are Zara, size medium. I didn't see Zara either on the list that they don't accept, so I was going to see if they could take these too. Just some basic black pants. Put those right there. I have so many items to list. It would be nice to send some items to somebody and forget about it. Really cute uh, uh, Ava Mendes for New York and Company. Purple pencil skirt. It's thicker, like a medium weight. That's more of a midi skirt, actually. Well, it's a midi pencil. Uh, a New Day Extra Large Pants. I might keep these as well. They have an elastic waist with a belt. They're new with tags. Uh, Target wanted $28 for them. I got them for $0.80. Cents. But nice, extra large, black, straight leg pants. Three pairs of black pants to try on. 
New Attack JM Collection, size large, Ponty Knit Pants. Some Gloria Vanderbilt New Attack, Ponty Knit Pants. And these are, oh, I didn't see Adrian Vitadini either, so I hope they take her. Adrian Vitadini, size 10, black and white print cropped pants. So I think I got another one of her items. I was trying to get at least like 10 items. J. Crew, size 14. I sold a lot of J. Crew this weekend. And I surprisingly didn't find too much J. Crew on this trip. I sold that J. Crew collection blazer already. Look, but thankfully, Flip, though, regardless of where you're at, like, it tells you how many. It's Monday. Did they drop their lots already for the day? At 6 p.m., they be dropping lots. Sourcing. Yep. See, and there's all these lots, and you can just scroll through them and see which ones you apply for. But they'll send you a notification, like, we just dropped 120 lots. So, like, so then it's like you kind of know how many people are on there. Hi, girl. I feel like I have not seen you in forever. Yeah, I haven't because there are not a lot of moderators that ever pop up on here. So I need to make some of y'all moderators. Hey, girl, hey. I'm sweating. I've been here for 41 minutes. Uh, J Crew 14, though. Cute little top. Yeah, I sold a J. I sold that J Crew collection double zero linen blazer over the weekend. That sold really quick. It sold in three days. Um, I sold three J Crew button ups for 18 a piece. Um, and then those J Crew capris. I was like, okay. Oh, nursing school. Look, shout out to you, though. Because that's a lot. So. This is Gap Large, new with tags, button down with the ruffle front. JoJo, yeah, you need to get an iPhone. Because if you, I mean, depending on what Android you have, those pictures, it, it just, I can't deal with them cameras. These are Banana Public Sloan's size 6. I'm going to list these for 22. It's just not realistic for them to sell at 25 anymore like that. And somebody's going to be more prone to buy them outright if I got them listed at 22. And what I need to do is, because every Friday I send out 10% off and 20% off offers. On my whole closet, I have Posture VA do it. I need to start waiting like a week or two before I send out offers because sometimes things could sell a little bit higher, but I just be trying to keep the shit moving, honestly. This is New Attack Zara. This was the first top I found. So cute, cropped, ruffle detail. New Attack's Mustard Seed. I think they sell mustard seed at like TJ Maxx. Size small, cute little black one shoulder top. Let me fix this. But yeah, this was cute. I was like, it's new with tags. Not necessarily a brand I want to just be picking up all the time, but really cute top. Uh, this is Laura Scott Petite. Look, and I'm talking about brands not to pick up all the time. This is a fucking Sears tag. Um with the Sears tag and I'm pretty didn't Sears go out of business uh they wanted 38 bucks for it I'm gonna just leave that tag on there because I was only gonna list this for 25 uh and they have it as a printed kimono I was probably gonna put this under cover up I feel like they get more um they get more visibility under cover up instead of cardigan you know i got hella cabbie pants i'm very excited to show you guys i looked them all up when i was there because i paid four to five bucks a piece for these um 
And it was a lot. So I did look them all up and comps were looking good for all of them. I'll show you guys that last though. <sighs> what is this? What is this? What is this? This is Daniel Rain, size medium. They originally wanted $25 for this. For this long sleeve top, they wanted $25. It got marked down to $10. I got it for a dollar. Uh, these are the other Adrian Vitadinis I got, size 4. They're just like a stretch pant print. Hopefully flip one some New York and Company size eight new with tags slim slouch pants. Bam. I got these for flip two just to see if they, you know, I'm still trying to figure out what brands they take. Uh, these are Elian Rose. No, these are Jules and Leopold. Size large. I've sold their pants before. Floral print. Stretch crop pants. They're like a poly spandex stretch. They're kind of stiff. And Taylor size small. Blue knit pant. Pull on legging. Uh, Crosby size 10. This is for flip as well. I just listed some teal Crosby's. They're new with tags though. And these are just plain black. Oh, uh, what's what a pencil skirt? These, these are pants. I did get a lot of pencil skirts though. Look, if you go through, look. Listen, I have hella skirts, and I'm definitely willing to get rid of them at a low price. And I just showed them. I know you came to the party a little bit late, but I just picked up a bunch more skirts from the thrift. Like this one. And this one. I love a good pencil skirt. Addicted. Addicted. If I still worked in like an office or something, not an office, but you know, retail, the limited size small. I got this cause it was new with tags. Um, little cold shoulder, asymmetrical, like Jersey knit top. I wouldn't have got that if it wasn't new. It's going to get listed at probably 22 cause it's plain and it's the limited regardless if it's new. Uh, market and spruce sold through stitch fix plaid. Pop over top. Uh, this is Hugo Boss. This is going to go to flip. Button down. Pendleton size 16. I paid like $320 for this. Really nice floral short sleeve midi dress. Look, because skirts and blazers, the two categories I need to not buy so much of, but I just love so much. Uh, and honestly, I would be buying more blazers, but my thrift store hasn't been having like anything worth buying. These are Adriana Papel, size 10, a nice light pink cropped. I find so many cropped pants, like light, light pink cropped pant. Alfred Dunner, size 14. I got these for me. Hopefully they fit. Um, more worried about this. I mean, but yeah, they're tied. Elastic waist, linen, green pants. For me, of course. I got myself five pairs of pants. I really need pants, though. And I told you I'm going to Vegas at the end of this month. <sighs> and I have a Shein order I need to place because I just don't have any, like, It'd be different if I was a size small. I find cute small shit at the thrift store all the time. Cute 1X stuff, not gonna happen. Few far and in between. 
<laughs> to say the least. Uh, so I have a Shein order I need to place. I have like a couple tops and um, some like shorts. It's hard. It's hard for a big girl out here. Uh, on the all my cabbie pants, I thought I got more than this. I mean, I guess this is a lot though. One, two, three, four, five. I got five pairs of cabbie pants. I paid like four to five dollars a piece. Great deal if you ask me. Some of them are new tag. Some of them are old tag. Um, but yeah, and they're all fours. So cabbie size four, pink. They have the no, these ones don't have the distressed hem. Yahtzee. I have a pair that have a distressed hem, but these are just pink. Like a skinny jean. These are a teal, and they're all, like, really soft. And they were all, like, right next to each other in the store. It's like, that's a deal that can't be beat. These are red. These are the cutest ones. I like that hem. Cute. I like the green ones too, though. Ooh. Where are you at again? Uh, living my best life. Look, I can't recall you right there. Sorry. Sorry, love. So much stuff that'd be going on in my head. Can't recall names and places half the time. This is definitely hot as hell here in Ohio. But I'm like, what is above Ohio? New York? Maine? I guess there's a lot of states above Ohio. Let me not play. Vegas. Okay, yeah, Vegas is. She's definitely up there. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I can bet it's hot there. Uh -uh, I'm, not, I'm looking forward to it, but not looking forward to it. Like, vacations, they're fun, but they're also, like, daunting, you know? Like, there's just so much pre-get ready, you know? Definitely gonna bring my sunscreen, though. I wore sunscreen in Tampa, and my whole back still peeled. Thankfully, it's evened out now, but, yeah, I definitely need to be a lot more conscious about uh, my sunscreen. Look, Jojo, you better go. <laughs> Look, Jolie, honestly, most things these days feel like too much half the time. 110? No, let me tell you how hot it is in Ohio. It's been hot all day. Where's my weather app? It's 82 here. 110. Ooh, these are size four again like a green and then the last pair is green as well 110 that's too much i like these too and they have the big like carpenter pocket that's all that i got though a great $93 if you ask me. I feel like I could make $93 from these cabbie pants alone. There's five pairs of them. If they all sell for $20 a piece, let's see. 16 times five. That's 80 bucks. Um, and that's the bare minimum. I paid like four or five dollars a piece. Letting these go for 20 is gonna be a little harder, you know. That's gonna be after they've sat for some months. This is my baby, though, for this haul. I really enjoy these pants. And very happy that a beautiful woman who wears a size 4 donated them. Because I needed them. Does anybody have any questions, though, before I go? 68 degrees, that sounds good, JoJo. And you throwing it in our faces. Talking about I need a pool. What do you need a pool for? 68 degrees. JoJo, I need a pool. You probably need a pool, too, though. Watch is going to be hot for you tomorrow and cold for me. Ohio weather is so all over the place. It doesn't make any sense. We just had to turn the heat back on. Like, and it just got shut off. Hi, Christina. That's so nice. Thank you. I'm happy you could. I'm done with my haul, unfortunately. So, I don't know if you just popped in. 
but the replay will be available. I'm doing okay. Today's been kind of blah. It could have been a lot better. Um, but thank you for asking. Am I hauling the friends items? Jojo, why is you trying to keep me here longer? <laughs> I was thinking about doing like an Instagram sale though or something with her stuff because it is cute stuff. Um, but I don't know. That's like a whole nother thing, right? When I could just list it and let it go how it is. <sighs> Who knows though? Blonde or brunette what, Jen? My hair? Is that the question? My hair's blonde right now. Ooh, I need to dye over it though. Cause yeah, I think I'm ready for, cause when I go to get a haircut again, he might take this blonde off, you know? But I might dye it purple or something, you know? You never know. Ooh. Ah. Yes, you do need to start listening again. Get back in the reselling game. Are you on break from school? It's June 7th. You in summer school? Ooh. School just don't sound fun. It's so funny because my hair's short and like waves. I don't really have like baby hairs anymore. Like my hair's just short, you know? Like that's just hair, girl. Yeah, I might have to dye it for Vegas. That'd be nice. I feel like like I went on vacation. Um, I went on a vacation to Tampa, and I really didn't take any photos. I don't know. I don't think I really... I didn't... Like, I liked the way I looked, and I liked the clothes I had, but I didn't like the way I looked on camera, especially my body. So, like, I didn't really post anything from that vacation, which really sucks. Um, but I hope I take more, um, I hope I take, like, better photos <laughs> when I'm on vacation this time. Thank you, Jolie. Chill, you're gonna make me blush. Is it blush or is it rosacea? It's a little bit of both. I do have rosacea pretty bad. Um. My cheeks are always red. <laughs> Thank you, Jolie. You guys are sweet. Chill, Jojo. Stop, Jolie and Jojo. Chill. Thank you. Um, I love y'all, though. Y'all know I could be here all night if I really wanted to. Because I just be talking. Blabber mouth, blabber mouth. Um... But thank y'all for joining me. I really enjoyed this Monday chat, y'all. Definitely do lift my spirits up a little bit when I don't feel the best. And I'm just happy y'all come here and watch me show what I'm selling. Um, And slowly see me rebuild my business back up. I've been going live since I restarted back in February. And I feel like this month I should definitely break two grand. Like, I feel like I definitely should. Um, I, I've been going live every Monday at 6 p.m. EST. If I don't go live, I post it in my community tab here and I'll let you guys know on Instagram, but every Monday, 6 p.m. EST, you can catch me here with probably a 75 item haul for about a hundred bucks. That seems to be the, the gist. Um, I'm so ready to go lay in my bed and put the air conditioner on. Uh, girl, I'm sweating. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> But I love y'all. Thank y'all so much uh, for joining me. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. Yes, hit the bell too. Then your phone or tablet or computer or whatever will get a notification when I go live. You could pop me up. You know, you could just listen to me, watch me, whatever you want to do. But I will see y'all next Monday. Bye y'all. Make good choices. Make some sales. And I'll check in with y'all next week. Bye. I forgot where the end stream button was. So peace out, y'all. <laughs>